Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian at Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me, please consider liking and subscribing. We are real tech for real people. Today's video will be an interview with our good friend, Robert Zahn of Value Electronics. Special thank you to Robert and Wendy of Value Electronics for being so generous with their time and for sharing their passion into home theater and all things tech. I had a great conversation with Robert as always. I was there to film the QNED, which had been delayed a little bit further. We will talk in this interview with Robert about LG's QNED lineup, Sony's Z9J, X95, Hisense Dual Cell, Sony's HDMI 2.1 news straight from the engineers. Um, Robert had an opportunity to talk to them. Again, he was at Sony checking out their third generation micro LED crystal displays, which I wish I could see those. He will share all that with you. Um, you will see Robert's video will be in a, an aspect ratio where I'm cutting out the corners as I'm there filming. I don't want to interrupt business. So they're there calibrating the G1, the A80, the A90J. There's about 50 displays that are behind him. And some of those would have copywritten material on that. So I had to blur that out a little bit. I'm there to try not to interrupt business, which I always do as we talk for hours. But special thank you to Robert and Wendy Zahn. Please consider making your next AV purchase through them. Check the description below for all their information and all their numbers. Without further ado, Robert Zone. Today I was invited to a premiere of the Sony Showcase for the Business to Business Products Division, which is pretty much high-end displays. They include the 100-inch, very much like the X92 that we have in our consumer market, but they have the same display as a monitor only. So it's $3,000 less. The list price is $17,000. It's the 100 inch, just like the X92 with the XR processor and full array local dimming, but it's a monitor only, a display only. So there's no tuner built in. There's no audio built in and you save $3,000. And those products are available also through the CI channel, through the diamond dealers. So anybody can buy them from us or your friendly local dealer. And this is something new and it looked gorgeous at the event. This was my first time seeing a mass production of the 100 inch 4K full array local dim. So we'll have ours, which is already shipped here next week, which is the X92. This is a monitor version of that only. Excellent. And you're also we, talking about the micro LED. We saw a brand new micro LEDs. So this will be the third generation for Sony. They'll be uh, shipping them in December, but we saw the first mass production units here in the United States. And I had the very first appointment this morning at nine o'clock when they opened. Excellent. I was there with their engineers and their product management team. And uh, we had quite a staff of engineers there and product specialists and product managers. I learned a lot. They build two series, the B series and the C series. The C series is the, for very serious video file high fidelity pictures. It has perfect blacks and it reaches about 100 nits of peak lumens. It's a micro LED, so it's an emissive display, just like OLED is and like plasma was. It's an emissive display, so there's no backlight. And it's made with LEDs instead of organic light emitting diodes. It was gorgeous literally gorgeous. We looked at a 110 inch one in the B series and the C series. The B series, they're both the same price, is double the peak lumens, but not as black. Has an anti-glare filter on it and also has uh, extra wide viewing. Uh, actually, they both have ex perfect extra wide viewing because they're emissive displays with the LEDs on the outside. So that's not a problem. The off angle is perfect on them. So the B-series is just a brighter TV with an anti-glare filter on it. So that would be used more for digital signage. But the, uh, the one that went to pure black was literally stunning. 110 inches measured diagonally. It has a finer pitch now of the pixels. Uh, would be $172,000. So this is not an inexpensive It's display. very affordable. <laughs> yeah, $172,000. While we were there, we also saw their full lineup of laser projectors. They have a very strong lineup of cinema quality laser projectors. 
that are native 4K HDR with brand new ultra sharp all glass lenses and this new processor as well. So they're doing a very strong job this year in all video. They also showed us uh, all their video displays that are primarily used for digital signage, their monitors, but these are very much like the full array local dimmed X90 and X95 that we have in the consumer field. I spoke a little bit on the side about the long waiting upgrade to variable refresh rate on the X900H and X90 and X95 and all the other 2021 TVs and that's still on target for December of this year. What they're waiting for is HDMI is going to be updating some of their specs on CEC, Consumer Electronics Control. The CEC link is going to be changing and so is ARC, the EARC is changing. So there'll be some protocol changes in the way that HDMI is configuring that and uh, Sony engineers want to wait for that so that they have one firmware update that's with the new firmware. That'll be the newest and latest updates. So we're so not December. saying it's a chip issue. It's, a, it's not actually. a chip issue. MediaTek is fine. Okay. Uh, in fact, I think they're using the same chip that the JZ2000 uses from Panasonic, mm -hmm. and they have VRR and DAI. Mm -hmm. I know they're having some issues, but Sony's yeah. saying that's not the issue. That's correct. Okay. So it's not a media. It's not a chip issue. Now back to the micro LED. I mean, I think the micro LED end... was literally stunning because we was... went from all of us expecting micro LED with Samsung a number of yeah. years ago to jumping or stop gapping to mini LED. Right. But do you feel like micro LED will be with us? How many years are you guessing? Well, I think you might see it come to market at very high prices, uh, maybe even this end of this year or next mm -hmm. year. But I would give it some time to mature. This is Sony's third generation of it. Sony is the first company to come out with micro LED. People think it's other companies, but it was not. It was yeah. Sony. And they've always called it the crystal LED. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the third edition of it. It really looks gorgeous. It is quite stunning. But it's priced very high. Yeah. You know, the yields are not as high as they would like. It has zero, no bezel at all. It goes right to the edge. Really was a very dynamic looking, gorgeous looking image. So I am optimistic for it, but we're far away from it being a consumer priced product. Absolutely. Uh, and other than no threat of burn-in, which is very limited now, you don't have to worry about it on an OLED anyway, really. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't much advantage to the micro LED. The picture was not better than an OLED, so. No, I know, quickly we talk about mini LED. I know the q and we've been waiting for that for a while. I know you can purchase them uh, various parts of the country, but you're seeing an allocation this week of which one are you yeah. seeing this week? So LG is being also very generous with us, and we will have the first allocation, they've already shipped them, of the QNED 99, the 8K. I'll have 75 and 86 inch ones, certainly by Friday of this week. Okay. Uh, so the QNED 90 is delayed till near the third week or the end of, uh, of August. Yeah. So we're still a month away yep. from the QNED 90s. And for those watching, we are in the New York area, so things do ship to other parts of the country. So yes. we may see them in other areas, and you know that's different from what we see here in New York. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think for the QNED 90, they may be some small, small amount of them. Mm -hmm. uh, hours shipped today. Okay. So yes, it's true that they do ship from the West Coast because yep. they're assembled in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So naturally, they come to the West Coast a few days earlier yeah. than they come to the East Coast. Because I know when I say to people that they've been delayed, they say, oh, well, I was able to buy one today. I'm like, well, they are on the West Coast in different That's areas. Correct. Now, can you speak a little bit on the X95? Uh, we've talked yes. a little bit about these reviews that we've seen coming in. I know you're more hopeful than what those reviews are showing, as well as the Z9J. That's correct. So X95J and Z9J opened up today with Sony for diamond dealers to place orders. And of course, we were the first one in line placing mm -hmm. our orders. Yeah. And they will be available uh, the week of August 9th. So that's when we'll have them available the week of August 9th and that's when we're going to start uh, taking money and shipping right away yeah. as well. And you're more hopeful yourself of the X95 I am very than much what we're so. hearing. So it's going to produce a much higher uh, peak lumens. 
It'll have a lot more local dimming zones with more LEDs that are even smaller in size. So it has more LEDs, it has more local dimming zones, it has an anti-glare filter, it has the X-wide viewing on it, it'll have deep rich blacks because they've added so many more local dimming zones yeah. this year. So the panel is greatly improved. The processor is the best by far, it's the XR processor. So I am very optimistic for the X95. And we'll know soon enough because yeah. we'll have them in less than two weeks. From what we, different from what we've seen, you know, again online and different reviews, we kind of want to yeah. wait until we have them. That's correct. Before, even with the numbers of peak brightness, and I know people watching have gotten those numbers first, so we'll see um, when that comes out. Um, but for what you have in store, Robert, I mean, obviously it's wall-to-wall -wall OLEDs. We have A90s um, being calibrated, G1s behind you. And for those of you that see the boxes stacked, they're typically empty boxes. We don't stack them that way here. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. great year for OLEDs. Um, I am a full believer of the processor, having the A80J myself, Thank thanks you. to you guys. A very, very beautiful processor. Well, prices have come down. Quality is way up. This is the best year for panels, OLED modules. This is the best year for screen sizes, they're larger. This is the very lowest prices we've ever seen on OLED TVs. So they are very close, if not even better in many cases, than the higher end LCDs that very respectfully don't perform as well in low ambient light or moderate mm -hmm. ambient light. So um, OLEDs are taking off quite substantially. And we do still see a constraint and uh, limited supplies to what we're having as far as even the Samsung's coming out. Yes. It's still been a lot of back order, so we still have that supply chain issue. Yes. Um, we're going to finish up. Robert has, we're going to talk a little bit about Hisense, the dual Thank cell, you. and what we're, we'll see here at Value Electronics in regards to that. Thank you very much. Uh, Hisense was also very kind to us, and we're getting the entire first allocation that's coming into the U.S., uh, we'll have them, they're already in transit to me now. It's a very small allocation. We will have them here, I'm hoping, also on Friday of this week. Uh, this is a new dual cell, so you have a 4K LCD, and right behind it, sandwiched behind it, is a 1080p LCD. That gives it 2,100,000 local dimming zones. Behind that, you have mini LEDs, thousands, tens of thousands of mini LEDs, behind the third layer. Uh, it'll reach about 1,000 nits. You can't burn it in. It'll uh, have very, very deep, rich blacks, almost pure black, but possibly even pure black. It'll have no glow around bright objects, none of the haloing effects that we see on backlit LCD. Excellent. So I'm also very optimistic for this and will be the first dealer receiving them later this week. Beautiful. So we'll be testing them, and I hope that you'll come back and we'll show that one on, on camera live. Yeah, and we're very busy as far as the allocation TVs being so spread out this year. Um, typically, we'd be done filming new displays, so we are now well into the summer. Um, Hisense, exciting to see them at Value Electronics. And for me personally, Hisense, TCL, those brands are very difficult for me to recommend as I can't see them personally. So it'll be nice to see someone with your eye and expertise to look at a Hisense and really get your thoughts on it. Thank you. Hisense is on the move for premium. They're looking for the premium customer and they're building very high quality processors as well as using very high end panels they're the exclusive for dual cell LCD in the United States Excellent. and uh, they've hired a lot of the very best talent in our industry so they're very well staffed with very excellent management at that company now I'm gonna circle real quick and then I'm gonna let you go Robert I know the Z9J uh, we have a lot of fans of the Z90 the Z9G and then now we'll have the Z9J now the year of the OLED um, LEDs aren't as talked about. Are you hopeful, or hopeful, or should I say, for the Z9J? Even though it won't include the backlight master drive, are you still hearing good things about it? Yes, very much. It is. It is a master series TV, and again, Sony takes that emblem badge very seriously. So they'll be fully QC'd and calibrated with the white point set by Sony at the final QC step. It is a very high peak lumens TV with very low, deep, rich blacks. So it'll have fantastic contrast ratio. It's gonna go over 3,000 nits in peak lumens. So it'll do a beautiful job tone mapping the brightest of all HDR content. 
it's a very stunning looking TV with an outstanding processor. Their processor is designed specifically on this TV with more memory to upscale and convert 8K to its best possible picture quality. So I think we're going to be very impressed with the Z9J this year. In fact, I'm sure we will be. Excellent. We will be. So to wrap up, we're looking at the QNED by the end of the week. That's correct. And we're looking at the X95, the Z9J, still to come, and as well the dual or the dual sense, the high sense as cell. well. Dual yeah. cell. Very exciting time. I know it's been very busy for you guys as we look around the store. Yeah. It doesn't typically look like this, but they are That's very right. busy. And again, That's you true. see the G1. I believe we have a G1 here at uh, 55. Yep. I think this is a, actually a 55A90J. A90J. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So we have all these beautiful panels, but for us LED at heart guys, you know, as we have another A90 there at, I believe that's 83 inches. Yes, it is. Um, for us LED guys, I know we're still hopeful, Robert, and I know um, you like the best possible picture quality, but for a lot yeah. of us LED guys, we're still holding on for the QNED the Z9J and the X95. Right. Well, you don't have no fears with worrying about or thinking about burn-in or anybody watching yeah. or playing games or yeah. anything. And the all TVs have greatly improved and prices are down. Yeah. So LCD LED is doing very well this year. It is. And I mean, for a lot of us that are big picture quality guys, many of us, as much as we love OLED, we do miss the high promise of peak brightness for that HDR, um, the explosions and specular highlights. That's right. Robert, thank you so much as always. Um, we'll also, you know, I know you have information out there about the shootout. You'll also be doing some projectors for that as well. Yeah. Anything you want to add quickly about the projectors that so, you uh, see? Day one is September 12th, mm -hmm. uh, It's going to, which is a Sunday, September 12th. It's in New York City. It's going to start at 9 a.m. And uh, day two, we're going to do ultra short throw projectors. This will be our first time doing a projector shootout as well. I've been asked for many, many years, and that category has taken off very nicely. Mm -hmm. So we want to review uh, all the well-respected ultra short throw projectors as well. So that'll be day two, which is Monday, September 13th. Excellent. And I hope many of your viewers will please join us this year, either live or watch online. Excellent, Robert. Thank you, as always, for your time. Really appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much, Brian. All the best.